Breaking news, Houdat Nation, the New Orleans Saints are expected to hire Clint Kubiak to be their offensive coordinator. Welcome into Saints Now by Chat Sports. My name is Trace Gerard. We're going to break all of this down, break down the information that I have and, that, uh, and how it impacts this team and how this hire is going to make a great positive impact for the 2024 season. So let's talk about Adam Schefter. He broke it down. He announced and broke the news saying the Saints are working to hire 49ers passing game specialist Clint Kubiak as their OC per sources. Kubiak would join the Saints after he coaches his final game with the 49ers. In Super Bowl 58, no deal can be finalized until after the game. So as we all know, Clint Kubiak's a little busy with the Super Bowl. He's with the 49ers right now. So the hire can't be made official, as Adam Schefter pointed out. But seems like the Saints got their guy. It seems like this is the guy that the Saints wanted pretty much all along. And here's the deal. This is why you subscribe, because we bring you breaking news. We're currently live on the channel, breaking all this down. We're going to take some super chats. We're going to take get the pulse of the fan base, take y'all's reactions, and just have a lot of fun throughout this entire live show. But this video is brought to you on demand, so be sure to subscribe so you can join our live coverage next time. We're at over 25,000 subs. Can we get to 26K pretty soon? I think we can. So let's talk about Clint Kubiak and his path to New Orleans. He is the son of NFL former head coach Gary Kubiak. He is also, he served as the Broncos uh, quarterback's coach and passing game coordinator, and he was the Vikings offensive coordinator under Mike Zimmer, and he was the quarterback's coach. And obviously in 2021, uh, didn't ha leave with a, or didn't have the season that he wanted. It didn't go well. It was a little bit of a failure. Wasn't with the team after that season. But he does have experience calling plays, and he's part of the Kyle Shanahan tree, which is a pretty good, you know, person to pull from. I feel like the top two guys to pull a assistant coach or an a coordinator from are Kyle Shanahan and uh, Sean McVay. I really, really love the hire. So let's talk about the staples to a Shanahan offense because I think that a lot of these tendencies will be implemented into the New Orleans Saints offense. So first, they're going to be heavy under center. Eric McCoy, we all saw the clips from the Pro Bowl. Get that under control, man. Just kidding. Give me a hard time. But yeah, they're going to be heavy under center. We're going to have a lot of 21 personnel. Multiple run schemes. So expect Alvin Kamara, Taysom Hill, or Alvin Kamara, Kendra Miller, Jamal Williams, all of these guys, maybe even Rashid Shaheed, to be utilized in the run game, um, as well as multiple guys in the scheme at any given time. A lot of play action misdirection and a lot of attacking the middle of the field, which let's think about it. When the Saints offense was at its best, Drew Brees, Michael Thomas, 2019, what worked? Slates over the middle. What might work again? Passing it over the middle. So here's a little bit more on Clint Kubiak as the individual. He helped develop Brock Purdy uh, a lot, to be honest. And without Clint Kubiak's help, I don't know if I'm sold that Brock Purdy could be the guy he is right now. I'm not going to say that Kubiak is the reason for it, but I think that Kubiak's creativity and the way that he operates, you know, meshed well with Brock Purdy. And he does have a lot of experience, as we noted before. And my personal thing about this is that the Kyle Shanahan offenses are always intriguing. They're very fun and they're very exciting and they're very explosive. And those are three things that the New Orleans Saints offense just hasn't been, I'd say, over the past two to three seasons. So I want to hear from you. Clearly, I like the hire. But what say you, Saints fans? Do you like the Saints? Hiring Clint Kubiak. Again, they're expected to hire. A deal could obviously fall through, but it seems like they have their guy. Let me know what say you. Give me a Y for yes or an N for no. And I want to just give a quick shout out to today's presenting sponsor. It is Prize Picks. Thank you, Prize Picks, for making today's show possible. If you're unfamiliar with this awesome app, it is the number one daily fantasy sports app. And it's daily fantasy sports made easy. You just pick two to six players, choose more or less based on your projected numerical stat, and voila, you can win some real-time money. For the Super Bowl, these are the projections that I'm rolling with. Patrick Mahomes, more than half a passing yard. Yep, you're reading that right, and I said it right. Half a passing yard. You want to take advantage of that? Go download Prize Picks. Use our promo code CLNS. Isaiah Pacheco, half a rushing or receiving touchdown. Feels like that's going to hit. Brock Purdy, I like me some BCB. I like me some big blank Purdy. Big blank Brock, if you know what I'm saying. 248.5 
passing yards, I'm going the more there. I really think that he can sling the rock and make it and air it out against the Chiefs defense. So fade my picks, tail my picks. I don't care what you do, just do it with prize picks. Go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Plug in that promo code CLNS. For a first deposit match up to $100. Shout out to prize picks. It's daily fantasy sports made easy. All right, let's talk about a little bit more Brock Purdy here because I do think that it's an interesting thing to think about. I think that Brock Purdy has a really bad narrative around him just because he was Mr. Irrelevant, and I don't really understand why he gets so much hate. I mean, you see it on your screen. Purdy in 2023, he was third in passing touchdowns. Yards per attempt, he was first. Deep ball completion percentage, he was first. Pressured completion percentage, fourth. Red zone completion percentage, second. True passer rating, first. QBR, first. Deep ball catchable rate, first. I mean, are you kidding me? You're telling me that Clint Kubiak had nothing to do with that. You're telling me that Clint Kubiak had zero impact on this. I think that Kubiak bringing in the experience that he has and learning from the mistakes that he made in Minnesota and being able to learn under a guy like Shanahan to lead Brock Purdy to put up this kind of production, I think that that is a great thing for Derek Carr. I think it's going to be very beneficial for the Saints offense. See Alvin Kamara getting more involved. I can guarantee you Taysom Hill will be very involved and be used very in a very creative way. I also think that we might get to see Jamal Williams be utilized better. Maybe the offensive line can get some help if we can add some talent there, but I really like this hire. In the Saints offense, it's, it's not like it needs a ton to be better. Feels like they got some of it right. They just need something to put their foot on the gas and make it drive at this point. Points per game was 10th overall. Not bad in the NFL. A lot of people are going to sit here and say that's, you know, a lot of these stats come in garbage time and they're empty stats. I, you know, whatever. Say what you want, but at the end of the day, this is what the Saints offense was able to do compared to all 31 other teams. In yards per game, they were 14th. Pretty average right in the middle. Yards per play right in the middle. A uh, little under the middle, actually, at number 20 overall. But do you remember Brock Purdy? His yards per attempt on throws were first, so that could maybe help that out, get some more deep shots, giggity. Third down percentage, they were 15th right in the middle, and red zone scoring percentage right in the middle. Not good in the red zone. They were not effective, but Clint Kubiak, Brock Purdy, Kyle Shanahan, they are successful in the red zone. These are, or Kyle Shanahan and Kubiak, excuse me, these are guys that understand the game of football, that are going to score that are going to make the offense better. And I don't think it needs a lot to fix the offense. Here's just a few of the things that you need to do. And a lot of these things, if you go back to the graphic we had earlier of how or of the Kyle Shanahan tendencies, a lot of these things are in those tendencies. Pre-snap motion, modern-day creativity, that's what Kyle Shanahan and that's what Clint Kubiak can offer. Better protection and run blocking. That needs to just come down to the offensive line, maybe – Kubiak can help out there as well. I don't know. I just the, the line needs to be better. Don't be afraid to air it out. Kubiak clearly did not give Brock Purdy the fear to air it out. Stop the stupid penalties. You have to stop the penalties. That's just something that the Saints have to do. And then you got to play your weapon strengths. And I think that Kubiak is going to do just that. I love this hire. I think that the Saints knocked this hire out of the park. And at the end of the day, when it comes down to who else was available, I mean, it's a guy's like, a John Gruden, which, no, thank you, please, just, no, I'm so glad they didn't do that. But Gerard Johnson, he's staying in Houston. Zach Robinson, he's headed out to the Atlanta. I actually really think that that's a great hire for the Falcons. But at the end of the day, the Saints got a really good hire. And I really, really like this move. Derek Carr, he was not great, but he wasn't. It's not, let's not act like he was all terrible. I think that he's going to greatly benefit from Kubiak. I think that... The completion percentage shows in the touchdown to interception ratio. It shows that he wasn't try, he wasn't making a lot of mistakes. The thing that was, uh, was frustrating for me though was that he wasn't taking chances. He was the only one being too conservative with the ball. And at times, I think that he needed to be a little bit more ballsy and air it out a little bit more. I think that Kubiak can maybe help him out with that and maybe incorporate a more explosive offense to allow that to be the case. So chime in for me, Saints fans. Give me your one-word reaction to the Saints hiring Kubiak. Mine, great. Mine's just great. I love the hire. I think it's a great hire. I think the offense is going to be explosive. I think the offense is going to be much better than they were this past season under Pete Carmichael. But I want to hear what your one-word reactions are in the comment section. 
And guys, if you haven't already and you want to get more coverage outside of these videos on YouTube, I encourage you to follow me on X, formerly known as Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok, or all three platforms. My uh, username is at TraceGerard48. It's the same on all three platforms to make it easy for you. I post a lot of short-form content, a lot of interactive stuff, jersey swaps, funny interactive memes, all sorts of fun stuff. So I encourage you to go check out those social media pages. Give me a follow. And Houdat Nation, y'all stay golden. We got our OC, baby.